this is a Lee fan uh, 250 motorcycle when me and Lonnie got the wind got this thing oh, a long time ago I actually got a video of us getting it working on it we never aired it because never could find out the wiring issue so basically traded an old uh, knockoff brand AR15 for this bike I ran the VIN when I got it because it did not come with the title and I worked at the dealership back then and the VIN came back clean so I traded for it just for the engine I wanted to put this on a shifter cart or something the guy was real crusty uh, he was what you call a butt in other words um, and uh, kind of screwed me over on the deal he hit a wiring uh, problem he turned it over he said the carbs need clean which is a lot of times the box you find but he turned it over I heard it had compression and stuff so I wasn't worried about it well I got home someone had obviously like hot wired it kind of which is weird because it came with keys and everything it was really strange why they did this but basically the harness was trash I got in contact with Leaf in America and got a harness and still it was missing just like all kinds of stuff ECU so I'm tired of messing with it end up buying a Yamaha Virago which is the exact replica of this bike or this is the exact replica of it and uh, we're going to use it's a chassis with a title uh, to put this engine on and hopefully get it running so we got to pull off this fake exhaust this top one's completely fake just for looks it goes nowhere so I'll show you in just a minute and then uh, pull the tank off and then get this engine off try to get it running and the good thing is we have a full parts box if we need it if we need any parts I'll put it So stupid how they did this. She has a drink or two in her. The carbs breathe through the frame right here, and it has an air box that goes right there. And I do have a brand new carb uh, and manifold. This has a pulse pump set up on it. I'm gonna do the oh, do the clutch. It should allow me to unhook that clutch on the other side. Well, skip ahead a little bit. I pulled the engine out of the chassis. There's only three bolts. There was one right here that you had to take the uh, foot peg off. I have that foot peg assembly sitting right there. And then there was an upper and a lower down there. So, she's off. Now we can push this one outside and get the new Virago in here. That was a little bit of a doozy, but we got it. Now I just got to plug everything up. I have a new carburetor. I'm going to slap on it and then uh, get all the throttle linkages hooked up. And we should be ready to start it here in just a little bit. It is missing the starter relay, so I'll probably use like a 150 GY6 starter relay. It should work uh, perfectly fine. And then uh, get this thing running so we can ride it then we're going to start bobbing it out all right so she's 95 percent complete uh just was putting this was missing some of the brake parts for the rear brakes and we got the gas hooked up all the fuel lines plumb uh when i was doing my test starts on this thing i could not get it to turn over basically the neutral safety switch was bad Luckily, the guy I bought this bike from had the original blown up engine. I pulled the neutral safety switch out of it, put it in this one, 
I had the wrong solenoid. I used a lawnmower solenoid that needed a uh, positive uh, signal and this bike does a neutral signal, a ground signal. So I ended up finding an old GY6 starter solenoid and it worked on it. So now we turn the switch on. Oh, she started. That was the first start actually, but there's no exhaust on it. So I got to put this old crusty dumb exhaust on. It's so stupid. Uh, what I'm going to do is for $200 on eBay, you can buy from China a dual exhaust for this bike, like a true dual exhaust. This one has like a weird muffler on it and stuff. Really weird. So we we'll are pulling this off. We'll be done a bobber look to it, putting a different tank on it and stuff. Make it look pretty sweet. But for now, we're just trying to get it running. Let's see? Oh, wrong one. I was about to say it's not moving. It seems about right. So now our back brakes are hooked up. Oh, we can start fishing this exhaust in there. We use the Go Power Sports battery, the Go Power Sports starter solenoid. And all we had to do, it was a two wire solenoid. So you can hook it up either way, ground or neutral can go to either wire. So what I did was uh, connected. These two wires are coming from the solenoid, as you can see there. That's connected one to the positive side that's going to the battery. And then this green wire goes to the original switch, uh, the original line. And I'm gonna cover this up real nice so it won't arc off on anything. Once down in there, I'll probably run this through this sleeving as well. So we'll just know we're all safe. We're about to be hogging. I do have to pull the handlebars off this. These are bent from the wreck or whatever this is in, so I'm gonna pull off the handlebars uh, after I start it up. And then we're gonna bobber it out. We're gonna cut down the rear fender, probably put a sleeker tank on it, like a skinnier tank, maybe, and then a different seat. But for now, we're just gonna ride her like she is. Wasn't that bad? You have like no room to do this whatsoever. Should we try it? Yeah, baby. I got a little bit aggravated when you bought this other bike to do the swap on because I was like, it's already been sitting. Can't you cut your losses and walk away? Well, I knew it was a good V-twin engine that there was nothing wrong with. So, you know, my heart said I couldn't <laughs> step away from it. Now we got to fix the exhaust leak in the front. Yeah, awesome though. And I cannot find the freaking master link on the chain. It's like it doesn't exist. So. I may have to pull the sprocket off the engine, put the chain on it, bolt the sprocket back up, and then roll it on the back tire, maybe. Who knows, but we should be able to hog snort this thing around very soon. I gotta adjust where my shifter is. I haven't bolted my shifter up yet. And this is like the babiest of hogs. 250 V-twin, this little baby. It'll run like 75, 80. And guess what, you can't get in too much trouble running 75 or 80. Your boy get on something bigger, your boy's gonna be in trouble. I used to have a few street bikes in my day and a supermoto. Or not a supermoto, a street and trail. I tell you that street and trail was the funnest thing I've ever owned. Remember I'd come one home where you up. Broke down on all the time? Yeah. Well all my bikes. I was budget biking. <laughs> you think I had a brand new one? Shoot. I'm going to have to pull this sprocket off so I can get the chain on it. 
Bom bebê. Ok. Chain size. So I guess Chinese box use something, something a lot different. This is like way fatter or something. Oh boy! We could hit up the ice cream shop when we go to this profit. We gotta go in the morning. He's not open right now. Oh. I thought you just had the will, free will to go down there and get what you needed. Well, yeah, if I break in. Oh. Hey, he has a Kawasaki version of a Grom in there. $2,500. That you don't it. need. No, I don't need that. I can barely keep women off me as is. <laughs> I don't need some mini bike, street bike. You think I could beat them off the stick then? I don't think so, girl. <laughs> so, yeah, we gotta get that sprocket in the morning because Chinese companies are idiots. <gasps> Uh, we got a, this was a salvage title from where it was wrecked, so I need to fix the blinkers, uh, which I have blinkers I can just put where those are at. I already have them. Um, I have stuff to fix this thing, or I can actually just pull the ones off the other bike. But, uh, but yeah, we got to do a salvage title, which I'll get it done tomorrow, uh, start the process with that. And But I want to drive it and make sure all the gears work and, uh, you know, this engine, to buy this engine brand new on eBay is like 1100 bucks. And I mean, you can go to the junkyard and find a Virago wrecked and pull the engine off, but this is a leaf fan engine. We've been messing with this Virago, trying to get it to run. So we had a problem with that neutral safety switch. <clears throat> Luckily, the guy I bought the, this bike from has a blown up 250. So we got that neutral safety switch out of it. Now, the bike that this engine came off of, the people did a lot of wire tampering on it, and I'm pretty sure they fried pretty much all the electronics on that bike. So I was worried about the stator in this bike being bad, and sure enough it is, because when we start it up, it'll run fine until you unhook the battery, then it dies. So uh, we're actually going to run down to 68 motors. Thank you, John, so much uh, for selling me this frame so cheap, and let me rob all your parts off your spare engine. But um, we're going to go ahead and pull the side cover off this engine just to see what tools we're going to need to take with us, and then we can pull everything out of that engine. So fingers crossed that the stator uh, is... We'll fix the problem. I mean, it should be. There's nothing else to it. And then we can finally take this thing on a test rip. So you can see we put some handlebars off of a bicycle on it. Because those factory handlebars was bent. This is not the style I'm going to keep on it. This is just something I had laying around uh, just to get some good handlebars on it. Uh, but we can't find, no one has a battery in stock in town. So I have to order one right now. We're boosting it off of a lawnmower battery. We also pulled the jets out of that new carb and replaced them with the factory jets out of the Makuni. Uh, this Makuni's been messed with a lot, so that's why I bought a just cheap knockoff replacement card. But it seems like it's running lean because it runs really good, revs really fast with the choke on. But when the choke's off, it's just real sluggish to rev up. So we may have to rejet this card uh, and do that. So we're going to run down and grab that. Whoa, we'll pull this off first. So me and Daniel went and grabbed this uh, spare engine that shop had. And we pulled the side cover off with the stator in it. We're going to leave everything in this side cover and just put that whole side cover on the engine you can see the flywheel there and everything and this bike also had the uh, factory uh, hot wire for the starter and also the factory ground so we'll be able to pull all that junk off of that bike that I've you know rigged on there and be able to put a true Yamaha uh, stator in it so that'll be nice okay so this is the starter the little starter gear that hits the uh, starter motor I'm gonna try to show you guys this. Um, there's a tooth busted out of the one that was on this. So this is the leaf end engine. Uh, and someone's been in here before. You can see the RTV. So they busted that tooth right there. Luckily we pulled this out. We'd have never seen that. So basically there's the pieces. There's uh, about four good chunks that came out of there. So we pulled the Yamaha starter tooth out. And uh, we're gonna put the dowel and everything right in there so basically this is the starter little gear that activates this gear that activates this gear so we're making sure we get any piece that's left out of here we're going to clean this up we're going to see if the factory uh honda or yamaha seal it looks like it's in really good shape so there shouldn't be no reason we can't just reuse this but uh so let's get this thing put on
fuel still. It was spitting bad that time. No matter choker on or not, I think it's just fuel. So, been out hogging. The first time I rode it, it was spitting really bad. And uh, then I came back for a second, went back out, and it ran perfect. Like, revved out everything, and now it's doing it again. I think it's the leftover old gas getting, I mean, we filled it up with new gas. Should have probably drained it, but uh, it's spitting a little bit. But we fixed the speed on her. We had to take the cable off the other bike. Now everything's working. I just got to put this cover back on and put the bolt and the shifter. Other than that. I mean, like a ooga, ooga. So, so we got the uh, we got the hog running this way, please. We got the hog running, and Lonnie hasn't rode it yet. But that's about to change. It's about to change. It's about to change the life. We should double on it. <laughs> Let's double. <laughs> so, the purple yeah. nurple. The purple nurple. That's its name now. Well, it's going to be black in a couple weeks, but yeah, purple nurple for the The black nurple. <laughs> yeah, it's just bruised after that purple when it's new. So, uh, Lonnie's going to take this thing for a ride. He's got a GoPro on, and it's so freaking fun. Just any motorcycle's fun. It only runs like 80 topped out, like winded out 80 mile an hour. But it's Downhill with the wind at your back. Yeah. <laughs> with the semi pushing. The chain needs uh, tightened up, but it doesn't hurt anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keys down there. Where? Okay. Am I looking? Oh, yeah. I see. It. And then just start it up, baby. Hey. Yeah. Is that starts off? Oh yeah, that mm -hmm. starts off, buddy. You already know your boy ordered a dual exhaust from China. <laughs> I had to. Hey, try the horn out. That's yeah, so well. works. Put a signal hanging off. It's <laughs> flopping around. The clutch is right at the end. Okay. I didn't turn his GoPro on. I didn't turn the GoPro. Okay, now you can go. No, oh, he got it. Smooth as butter. Smooth as silk. I might buy this from you. It's so <laughs> like it. I love it. Peyton can I rode all the way to uh, the rock crushing place. Well, I was going to say, when you work local, you can oh, yeah. drive it one day or some days. I don't care. Yeah. yeah, I was going like 65 the whole way, just cruising. It's crazy this started as a carcass on Tuesday, and now we got a full running bike. I mean, it's oh not going like this. 
Well guys, it feels awesome to have that bike finally done because it's been sitting outside under a tarp for three years because of that huge electrical problem. Everything was fried. So it's awesome that the bike is running. We do have a dual exhaust coming from China. Uh, just a dual straight exhaust and it has baffles that you can put in it. Of course, we're not going to run those baffles. We're going to put a cone filter on it. We're going to rejet it uh, in a later video. And we're also going to start the whole bobber process. We're going to use the old bike, the old leaf end bike, and cut down the rear fender. We're going to lower the bike some in the rear because the fender's really high. And we're going to stiffen up the rear suspension a little bit. So uh, the bike just sets real low and it's not going to bottom out. So uh, stay tuned. We're going to do this budget bobber build. I think it's going to be an awesome bike. I've been riding it around everywhere. Uh, and we got a title now. So since we use the Virago chassis with the salvage title, 68 Motors helped us out and... Uh, it's going through the process of getting that title all cleared out for us. So we'll have this bike uh, all registered and on the road, and we're going to start bobbing it out. So we've got to paint a bunch of stuff, modify some stuff. So make sure to check out the links in the description below. As always, thank you, Go Power Sports, for uh, supporting the videos. And uh, make sure to uh, tell them we sent you if you go buy anything for your mini bike or go kart from them. Uh, also, Duramax, you can use the discount code RBG to get 20% off up until May 31st on all Duramax products on uh, generatorfactoryoutlet.com. So make sure to do that. And uh, yeah, guys, go check out our website. We do have merch for sale. We've got our shirts, our sticker packs. We're adding uh, some more shirts next month, and we're adding new stickers very soon. So be on the lookout for that, and you can see events on our website. It's a whole big deal. So go check it out. We're super happy to have a website finally. As always, guys, let us know what you think of the... Uh, the old hog and uh we want to know what you guys would like to see us do on this thing i know it's just a 250 but the thing's so much fun lonnie's in love with it i'm in love with it it's just cool riding something around instead of having no it's been years since i've had a motorcycle so it's cool just to beat around on a little 250 but uh thank you guys so much for watching and supporting us uh we'll see you friday we love you and god bless